You got to decide who are you selling to? Who is your tribe? My tribe is males 25 to 45 who are tired of being fucked over by the world, who are disenfranchised, who don't make enough money, who don't feel like men, who come here to get politically uncorrect or politically incorrect language about how life is from someone who has been there. I know what it's like to be hungry. I know what it's like to be broke. I know what it's like to have so many people disrespect you because you're not performing at your higher potential. I know what that feels like. So I can bring that language to you. And that's part of my brand of authenticity. You know, when I made that phrase, many of you are trying to fuck with no pussy. A lot of folks were offended. People were upset. Some people unsubscribed from the channel. And you know what? That's a great thing. It's an awesome thing. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why branding yourself, even if it pisses a bunch of people off, ain't nothing but money. Be sure to get your free 19 courses, business courses, courses how to clean up your credit, courses how to beat that child support case, and courses on how to start and run a business. First link below. Who knows? Perhaps by this weekend, you could be facilitating some change in your life, which may result in some dollars. Remember when I made that statement, many of you are trying to fuck with no pussy. Remember when I said, you ain't nothing but a scared little bitch. Remember that? Remember when I said, manage your money or your money's going to manage you. Or I'll go all the way back to from the Ruta to the Tuta. Now, when I said some of these things, it pissed people off. Some people unsubscribed. Some people sent me nasty grams. Some people said some stuff on Facebook. And you know what? It is some of the best stuff ever to happen to me. I'm going to tell you the power of branding and why pissing off a bunch of people that are not your target audience ain't nothing but money. One of the things that you have to do if you want to create a company that will beckon, will call, will whisper, will scream and will yell for more money is you must brand yourself. It is not nice to have. It's not something that is optional if you're trying to make a lot of money with your chosen service or profession or product. It's necessary. It's mandatory that you brand yourself. All right, let's talk about me pissing off a bunch of people with, you're trying to fuck with no pussy, right? This is what this is accomplishing. It does piss off people and I want to piss those people off and I want to get rid of them because they're not my customer. They're not my target audience. They are not going to buy in or subscribe to my philosophy. It's just that simple. It's not a hate thing. It's a practicality thing because if, and this is something that happened and it wasn't, and the problem was because I never branded myself. I was Glendon Cameron. That was the name of the, st of the channel at one point, Glendon Cameron. And I was the storage auction dude. And I was the Craigslist dude. And I was the hustler dude. I never intentionally branded myself until I came up with hustlerskungfu.com. That was the first focused effort on branding. And now we've slid the branding over a little bit to hustlerskungfulifeskills.com and hustlerskungfudojo.com. That's the brand. It's going to stay here. It's going to be here because it works for what I am trying to do. Now, how does that help you? Where's the money in that for you? I'm glad you asked that question. There are many people who are seeking mentors. I have a lot of mentors. The first mentor I have is the marketplace. I look at what y'all do, what you don't do. I relentlessly test on my personal Facebook page. I was testing quite a bit on my Facebook fan page. And there are various people in the world that I read their books. I looked at their career. I looked at their businesses. And they became my virtual mentors. I never met any of these people. I just reverse engineered 
what I thought they did to the best of my ability and applied those lessons to my business. And it's worked. Now, this is how me having this talk with you helps you. If you look at what I'm doing, because I don't teach you what I'm not doing. I teach you what I'm doing. And the reason I have no fear about teaching you what I'm doing is I know most of you are so fucking lazy that you're not going to put in the work to actually be competitive with me. True story. You're not going to. I'm going to give you an example. There was a YouTube channel that was doing really, really well. I couldn't figure out why it was doing so well. She wasn't using SEO titles. She, there was so many things that were wrong. There was no intros. There was no, there was so many things. And I was like, I spent eight hours hunting that shit down. I watched video after video. I went to Twitter. I went to Instagram. Then I finally found the source of her success. Most of you are tripping if you have to spend 30 minutes looking for an answer, let alone spending eight hours plus because of just idle curiosity. It's like, I got to figure this out. This is bugging the fuck out of me. So that's why I made that statement that I'm not really worried about teaching you exactly what I do because I don't think most of you will be competitive. Now, with the power of branding, as you said, hustlerskungfu.com that came on board last year, August, and it's going to stay on board because it works, it rings, and it's cool, plus it alienates a certain group of people. Intentionally, yes, I intentionally want to chase people off. I have folks all the time leaving comments, and these folks don't have a business, but they're telling me how to run a business when I'm in the practicality, the technical level, and the action of running the business. I'm not going to listen to you if you have no business because you're just talking out of your ass. So I, I get those things of you should do this and you should do that. You should start a business. You should start testing, implementing, and putting stuff into the marketplace. And this is the most important reason why. You're going to get your feedback. Now, this is one of the things about branding with me branding hustlerskungfu.com and pissing off people with such phraseology as maybe if you were trying to fuck with no pussy you ain't nothing but a scared little bitch you know some people are like, oh you and your nasty mouth i can't stand you okay next that's the beauty of choice because this is the thing when you have a company and you're trying to sell everyone you're not selling to anyone because your message isn't sharp enough. Whether you like me or not, my message is really sharp, it's really blunt, and either you're gonna be highly offended or you're gonna be highly turned on. There's no middle ground with me. That's by design. I'm not trying to win every person on the planet over. Nope, it's not my goal. My goal is to help two groups of people. On one side, there's going to be my special clients. These are the 30, 50, 60 people that I want to help in the next four years make million dollar businesses. Okay. That's one group. And then the other group is a few thousand people who are going to go through hustlerskungfu.com. Then, well, really, they're going to go through hustlerskungfulifeskills.com. Then they're going to go to the dojo and then some are going to trickle out and become high-end clients. So the first group are going to get HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com for free. It's not putting a price on it. I've had people like, hey, you should like, charge this. No, it's going to be free. And this is why. Because I believe in the more that you put out, you know, what you sow, what you reap, that type of thing. But it's a natural law. I won't get into all of that. But I know that... I'm doing really good work by leaving those courses free and helping a lot of people. Now, out of that group of thousands, it's going to trickle down to a few hundred that they're going to go to hustlerskungfudojo.com. And then out of that hundred, it's going to trickle down to a few dozens that are going to go to incomedojo.com. Now, I'm giving you a brand lesson because it's Hustlers Kung Fu, that's parent company, and people are going through this funnel. But the thing is, there's a lot of value. Now, the branding part comes like this. 
You go to hustlerskungfulifeskills.com, you take the child support course and you get your child support eliminated or reduced or your case dismissed, what are you going to do? You're going to tell people. You're just like, man, you ain't going to believe this. I took this course. I thought this dude was full of bullshit. I took to this course and I was talking to the course. And I got this thing in the mail and I said, it was dismissed. What? Or something even more salacious. When I give you, you're trying to fuck with no pussy. You're gonna, you may hate me, but you're never, ever going to forget where you heard that. And you're never, ever going to forget me. Now, how does this help? Because, see, this is one of the things. Because I'm in for the long game. And that's part of branding. Branding is the long game. Today, I may offend the shit out of you, right? You may go through some lumps. You may have some shit happen to you. And two years down the road, you're like, oh, that motherfucker was talking about trying to fuck with no pussy. I understand. Then you come back to the channel. Then you go through the courses. Then all of a sudden, you're a customer. That's the power of branding. Branding makes you memorable. Because if you're not branded, then you're just a commodity like everyone that sells on eBay and everyone that sells on Amazon that thinks that they're running a the business. When I buy a product from Amazon or eBay, I don't mention the seller. I say, I got that off eBay. I got that off of Amazon. Why? Because eBay and Amazon are the brand and you are a instrument of their brand. Unless you have your own website and selling directly to customers Without eBay and Amazon, you have no brand. You private label on Amazon, but you have no other way to sell your stuff. You're not private label. You're just using a tactic that works for now on Amazon because you're not branded. So you're going to have to have your own website. You're going to have to have your own internet properties. You're going to have to have your own lingo. I have a lot of lingo. It's just me. It's just the things like trying to fuck with no pussy, hustlers, kung fu, manage your money or your money's going to manage you from the ruler to the tutor. You're just a scared little bitch. That's me. That's the brand. And it's memorable. And it, and it grows and it grows and it starts to build. Now, you have to make a decision for your brand. You got to decide who are you selling to? Who is your tribe? My tribe is males 25 to 45 who are tired of being fucked over by the world, who are disenfranchised, who don't make enough money, who don't feel like men, who come here to get politically incorrect or politically incorrect language about how life is from someone who has been there. I know what it's like to be hungry. I know what it's like to be broke. I know what it's like to have so many people disrespect you because you're not performing at your higher potential. I know what that feels like. So I can bring that language to you. And that's part of my brand of authenticity. Unlike many other Internet marketers, my story of being homeless is true. It's not I didn't it's called a hero story. And this is one of the things you'll learn if you become an Internet marketer and you'll talk about it where you make this. You start off nowhere, then you make this grand scale leap instantaneously almost. It was just a matter of weeks or a few months. The truth of the matter is, for you to be successful long term, it's going to take years to make your talent level durable. If you can build a fortune and make a lot of money from nothing in six months to a year, chances are you're not going to keep it because you may have learned a tactic that can get you money, but you don't have the skill sets to keep money because it's a long term game. But with branding, it's like, you know, Mickey here. Mickey's a brand. Mickey's a brand of Walt Disney. Everybody knows who Mickey is. I am what I call a infant brand. Not that many people know about me. Uh, this channel has a reach of you know, 300,000 views a month. That's a that's a drop in the bucket of life. I got a lot of work to do. But part of the reason that more people don't know about me is because I wasn't branded. And I'll tell you why I wasn't branded. I should hang my head in shame. Well, the truth of the matter is when that first book came out, it was doing so well. It made me incredibly lazy. I woke up. I had money every day that went on for like two and a half, three years. And that's why I didn't brand myself. Really wasn't, 
a priority. Now that I've gotten over my shame, I've gone about literally building a real business in the agency. And with that, and since I've done it before, I know that I have to brand myself. I know that I have to have certain symbols and images. And that's why you're going to see the quality of the video and the thumbnails to go up. It has to for the brand. You're going to see, uh, I have a designer right now working on a new logo for the next round of apparel that's coming out. It's going to be dope. It's going to be so, so dope. So that's just part of it. But you got to brand yourself. And let's just talk about the reason you don't. Branding yourself means you have to make a few decisions. Who's your customer? Who are you? What are you trying to sell? What are you trying to achieve? You got to know those questions where someone wakes you up in the middle of the night and you're like, hey, I sell the males 25 to 45 years old. I'm trying to make, you know, 60 people million dollar businesses. You know, it's got to be rolling out. It's got to be automatic because once you answer those questions, then it makes sense how you conduct your business. I was approached by a company and it was a nice offer. Very, <clears throat> excuse me. It was a really nice offer, six figures, a sponsorship deal, but they said, we understand if you use profanity for your other stuff, but when you are representing our brand, you can't cuss. And I said, no deal. And they kind of looked at me like I was stupid. And I was like, that's who I am. That's the tribe. I'm not changing. Thank you so much for the consideration. I totally understand your viewpoint. Because, see, for me, once I, and see, this is the thing, once I start doing that shit, then next thing you know, the brand becomes diluted. Then I'm like, well, they offer me six figures and I don't cuss. Well, I'll just stop cussing altogether. I'll start to censor myself. I'll start to become politically correct to get more of these people. I would lose myself. I would, and I lose myself, therefore I lose the brand. I lose the identity of the brand. So once you make these decisions... It's real easy to say no to something like that. But if you don't stand for anything, you don't have any philosophy, you don't have any rules, you'd be like, that's a lot of money. Now, also, I have the luxury of I've made that before. I've made more than that. And I know that betting on me, I'll be OK. So I'm not like, hey, I don't, I'll let that go. Someone else may come. They may not. But I'm running a real business. But that's the power of a philosophy and a brand. You got to hammer that down. One of the biggest issues I have with new people is nobody wants to make a commitment. When I say new people, these are people who want to start a business and they ask me security questions and guarantee questions. What should I sell? That's not the question. What can I sell and be sure to make money and not lose money? Hey, where should I get started? What can I start? What's this sure thing that you can put me on the path for? I won't lose. The, the reality is, and the way that the game is rigged, and the game is rigged, and it's rigged in your favor, believe it or not, is unfair can work to your advantage. So as long as you keep trying to make shit fair, trying to keep shit safe, then you don't have all of that upside that's potential. It wasn't fair for me to write a book and make as much money as I did. It wasn't fair. I earned that shit. It wasn't fair that I get to sit at home and sometimes, no, I have pants on today, do videos in my boxers. It's not fair that sometimes I can just shut things down and take a trip. Y'all don't even know I'm gone. When I want to, I've like answered consulting calls from a hotel room. Y'all didn't know I was on vacation. See, I don't put all that shit on Facebook because a lot of people friend me so they can think they can find out more. It's just what's on my Facebook page is what I want you to know. There's so much that goes on in my life you have no clue about and I'm going to keep it that way. Because social media ain't all that social all the time. But fair, you got to let go of that. Fear of loss, you got to let go of that. I'm in a group and someone put up something very powerful. This guy was a little conflicted, right? He was about, what's your fair share? And when I saw the question, I started cracking up. See, I've talked about this before. I believe in abundance. I don't believe in scarcity. I believe there's so much money in the world. I believe there's so much opportunity. I believe and see and act on those beliefs that I don't get jealous of people. When have you heard me being jealous of someone or talking someone down? 
If you attack me, I may attack back, but I've actually gotten to a level where I just let that shit go. When have you heard me talking about, down about somebody or being jealous? See, when you believe in abundance and you act and embrace, like embrace abundance, you don't get jealous of folks because you know you're going to get what you want. So he was going on, you know, and he was essentially he had guilt with earning a lot of money. And a lot of people have this guilt because that departs you from your friends and your family. Essentially, you outgrow your upbringing. And it was just, you know, this fair share. There's no such thing as fair share. There's no such thing as greed. There's no such thing as too much money. You don't hear me say in terms like filthy rich, more money than God. All those terms are things like somehow creating a service, a product, a brand, and making a tremendous amount of money. It's like there's something inherently evil with having that much money. It's not. And if you don't mentally correct yourself, and this is part of branding and saying that, I'm going to put my best foot out there. I'm going to put my best product out there. I'm going to put my best whatever out there. And then when it hits and you start making a lot of money, it's not about fair or unfair. It's about implementation, planning, and execution, which most people don't do. So if you start to do those three things on a consistent base, I promise you, your life will change in ways that will blow your mind literally change and just you will be shocked because most folks aren't doing it because I talk about this in the 19 free courses that they're in the mindset course there are many people who have mentally put a ceiling on their success because for them to go past that they would be outgrowing their culture their family heritage or social limitations imposed upon them somewhere probably in primary school elementary school for those of you who don't know what that is once you start letting this stuff go Space is the limit, not the sky, space. And that's all part of branding because once you brand and you open your mind up to this, there's just so many things are possible, but that's the genesis and that's the gist of this. Brand your business. Go out and, you know, if you're starting off with YouTube, get the best damn camera you can. Get yourself a cameraman, a camera girl, do your thing bigger and better than everyone else, even if it hurts a little bit, because you will brand yourself. And this is something I've seen with a lot of YouTube channels. Within a year, they've just come out of nowhere, get to a hundred and some thousand subscribers. And each time it's branding, it's quality, and it's belief that they can do it and they, they deserve it. It is huge. It is seriously, seriously huge. So whatever you're doing, <clears throat> you got to brand yourself. You got to start today. Draw out your little logo. Draw out your, your, co your company colors. Get some gear made up. I mean, you can go to a screen print shop and have a shirt made up for you and, and a hat, whatever, and get your stuff together because that is going to separate you from everyone else. And it is extremely important. So to brand yourself means you have to make decisions. And the sooner you start making firm decisions, the sooner you can get your brand rolling. All right. That's all I have for now. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. How are you branding your business?